Christmas in October. Go. Good morning. Where's the camera at, Captain? Right there. Good morning. Remember Christmas morning when you would get up early and go look for the presents? Well, I got up early today, dude. Got my devotions all knocked out, you know what I'm saying? Opened the day up in prayer. Asked the Lord Jesus to guard my heart, mind, and soul. Hopefully, you were praying, asking the Lord Jesus to guard your heart, mind, and soul. But listen, dude. Betzalel. Oh, holy ab. Is it Christmas yet? No, it's the month of All Hallows' Eve. It's the month of the Protestant Reformation. Martin Luther, 95 Theses. Wasn't that on Octo October 31st? All Hallows' Eve. No, dude, I'm not celebrating the, the time of evil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities and rulers of dark places. The devil is very real. If you're into voodoo and going down to the crossroads and selling your soul to the devil, bro, I, do some research about Elvis Presley, the Beatles, and all the bands who came up through all that. Ask Johnny Cash how much fun all that is. Ask all the guy. Anyways, I don't get there. The 27 Club. You gotta say more. Then we're not celebrating Halloween. We talking about you crazy? We got enough. We got enough horrors in the going on in the political realm, dude. No, it's not Christmas, bro. I'm talking about Christmas in October. Boom. Dude, I can't wait to send this present over here to uh, Stevens Bakery. We're gonna box it up hopefully today. I need to find a new uh, volume knob for here. I got a bunch of knobs here, but guess what? This is exciting. I'm almost out of them. All I got is like the white ones and a purple one and a red one and eh. uh I got these from CB Giddy. These black plastic inserts so you can make your own. You can make your own volume knobs, but I, you know, I'm just not interested in, you know, using like this kind of like like corks. What else is I going to use? I had some other right. Uh, using these these caps for hot sauce bottles. It just look. It just kind of has like a. I know we're supposed to be janky and looking like hobo, like, but I, I just like to have nice knobs. J A T. I use that dude a lot. They're expensive. I can't afford to get them right now. But J A T. Go to Reverb or eBay or just put J A T. Custom parts and in Instagram. Dude, <laughs> if you're an Uger nerd, bro, you're gonna be like just sitting there. They got some glow in the dark. If you got these cool bills, like listen. You can actually, there's like, there's like a whole science. I think some of the comments I've had on some of my builds was people like the knob choices. That's like a weird detail, dude, but it's important. Like this one right here. Some, I got something to talk about Christmas, dude. And I know I you know, you know, get all motor mouthy, but look. This one right here. This won't look good with the yellow. Yeah, yeah. And it won't look good with the purple. You know, eh. I did the purple and the yellow on the um, on the Acme Awaken from Dormancy, the two builds I did with the ratch with the mousetrap headstock for Awaken from Dormancy, that death metal band from my dearly beloved brother in um, Richmond, Virginia. White ones kind of like yeah. So you're saying black, obviously, but here's the funny thing about these knobs. There's spines on here. There's like 16, 18, 24. It's like a whole science to this. I wanted to use this one I got from Big Joe, the Gibson type, but look, it won't fit on there. And if I cram it on there, it's either gonna break, it's gonna break the pot or break the, this. So I guess what that means. It might be time to go on down and go see Bill Foley, German Village Music Haas, nah. Gonna fire up the Batmobile to see if I can't get Joe on the line. See, Big Joe wants to go down there with me. So, yo, it's Christmas in it's Christmas in October. Cause guess what? I just got to the place with this neck. Look at this neck, dude. It's butter. 
man, I got this. I did the Wolfgang profile where this part where your thumb is, is thicker. And then over here where you're playing over here, it's thinner. You can't see it, dude, but trust me. This might get hung up at Stevens Bakery and no one's ever going to play it. But if Eric Clapton walks in here and pulls it off the wall and goes, hey, man, someone made a cigar box guitar with a cigar box inside of a half a peach pie box. What? Mm -mm. Was it chimeric? Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Is it natural? No. Is it slightly weird? Of course it is. Flattery will, get you, flattery will get you everywhere, dude. So I got it all finished up, but look, I need tuners. Knowing this, I just used up all my tuners in that last build of seven. Did you see the playlist? Seven Cigar Boss Guitars? Check it out. That was a fun series. I got two more to finish up right here, and then um, we're gonna do something special with those two. But what am I missing here? Tuners. So right on time, right when I got this whole thing fi finished, guess what Santa Claus dropped off yesterday? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Chim, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, cherry. Ha, 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 Is that a Christmas song? Bye-bye! Hey, hey, hey! Violet, 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 Violet. Can you come play me a Christmas song? Christmas song, 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 song. Hold on. Uh, do you know any Christmas songs? Can you play me a quick one while I open up this package? It's Christmas. It's Christmas in October. Just play me a quick one while I open this. No, it's not, it's not. If it's Christmas esque. I've told the audience here on the on the um, on the YouTube that um, all right, ready? Just play me a Christmassy-ish song. It doesn't have to be long. I just think it'd be I think <laughs> I think it'd be funny to add some to add some um, life to this opening of the package of CB Giddy. You know anything by heart? Once you play Vince Guaraldi's. I'm so proud of her, dude. She can actually read music. She's only 10. She just turned double digits. Zero and one. Do you know that computers work off zeros and one? Even this YouTube video. Did you know that I save these videos at like one, zero, eight, zero. Was that TPI? Either 2K or 4K. And it's amazing, dude. Like I've done like a, like what six hundred videos now, and um, it's trippy because I'm making it on this camera. It's being transferred wirelessly to YouTube, which is, you know, sum up with that. Um, but it's all ones and zeros. Anyway, she can read music. Her teacher just commented she can read. Did she find something? Yeah. All right. Just play Jingle Bells. But it was on fire. Let me see if I can find it. It was mixed with Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle? I could go to Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. That's cool. We can do, we can do. And then it goes. That's cool. It can be, it's, it can be a patriotic, this can be a patriotic opening. USA plus Christmas in October. Already fired up. All right, ready? Five, I'll do a five, four, three countdown. All right, Captain, hold on. Let's do another countdown. Hot sauce, guitar kitchen, Christmas in October. Go. Jingle. 
jingle all the way. Oh, what? Ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Jingle bells all the way. Why don't you play that Bach one you did, that real, that one you did for your recital? Doom, do, 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 doom, down, down, boom. Those. This is what I was hoping for right here. Ooh, I wish you could some blast. And that's it. So I got black ones. Because of black ones, and look at these ones. Very good, bye bye. Thank you. That was very good. Look at these ones. These are brand new. Told you it's Christmas in October. Look at those. These are um brass open gear tuners. Should I put the brass open gear ones on the new, on the peach belt, dude? What? Side note about this Giddy's workshop soap. <laughs> Dangerous gases. Like, what is this right here, dude? Like a radon, look. Radon, there's some kind of like radon thing in my bathroom. Look, dangerous gases. Yo, you can adorn your bathroom you can adorn you can adorn your toilet your potty area with cigar box guitars. <laughs> Look, so check this out. For this shop soap. Oh. This is why I got this stuff. This is one of those things where you're thinking to yourself, I don't want no those soap. I want I want the uh, winter camp poster. I want the other free stuff. Look. <clears throat> Let me put this thing in here. Check this out. So this is my work sink when I'm working down here in the doomsday bunker. So of course, I got mineral spirits. I got those gloves because I hate getting this crap all over my hands, stain and stuff. I'm really funny about that, dude. Then of course I got this Watkins hand soap. But look, here's the last nug. I got this seat. <laughs> this stuff is so good. Dude. This is like the last nug of CB Giddy's soap. And it works so good because I'm so funny about my hands. You know, I gotta cook and clean. I gotta do all kinds of stuff with my hands. I can't be all stainless. So when I got this last order, I specifically saw this and I was like, dude, I gotta have that soap, man. Like I literally have hung on to this little nug and, I, and it still works and you can still use it. So I keep it right here. I'm telling you, dude, I'm funny about this with the weirdest stuff, these little details. So I got, I had to use this hand soap for a while. I hate using the big Tammy kill. Now I re up. And I'm going to move him over here next to um, Odalis. Here you go. And then we're going to put a fresh re up of CB Giddy's workshop soap, dude. Boom. It's a cigar box guitar's life for me.
Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray.